Hello, I'm Campbell Scott, Head of Sales Engineering for Massey Ferguson. I'm based here in Bow Bay and I'm with the new Massey Ferguson 7600 series. I'd like to talk to you, to you today about the transmissions that we use in these tractors in this new range and more importantly how we take the power from the engine and ensure that we get as much as, of that power as possible to the wheels where you actually need it when you're working in the field or you're working in transport on the road. This new range of tractors comes in three versions, the Essential, the Efficient and the Exclusive. In the Essential model we have available our Dyna 6 transmission that we already knew from the Massey Ferguson 6400 series, but in the, the two uh, other versions, in the Efficient and in the Exclusive, you can have a choice of Dyna 6 or Dyna VT which is a full CVT, that means continuously variable transmission. You can't really tell much about the transmission from looking at the outside of the tractor, so we'd like first of all to have a closer look inside the cab at the controls, and then we're going to look at a cutaway of the Dyna 6 transmission, and we can explain exactly how we get the power from the engine through to the wheels. OK, so on the new Massey Ferguson 7600 series, uh, we have all the controls nicely grouped on the right hand side and this is the top spec exclusive version and as you can see I've got to my right hand side two joysticks. So on my right hand multi-pad controller I can do a lot of things like I can switch the PTO on and off, I can lift the, the linkage up and down. But as far as the transmission is concerned, this is where I can go faster or slower just by pushing the lever forward or pulling it backwards. On a Dyna VT version, as I push it forward, I simply go faster. As I pull it back, I simply go slower. And on a Dyna 6 version, as I push it forward, I move up through the speeds or down through the speeds, just by pushing the lever backwards and forwards. I've also got a nice function in the lever, which is for reverse. So when I press this button, I can go from forward into reverse, from reverse into forward for fast shuttling operations in the field. So we're talking about the efficient transmission of power and basically that means how do we take the power coming in from the engine and make sure that it all comes out of the transmission or as much as possible anyway to be available at the wheels or indeed at the PTO. This is Dyna 6. This is Massey Ferguson's semi power shift transmission. It's built and manufactured here in Beauvais. It's a 21st century transmission. Most of the machines, alternative machines in the market, use designs that go back to the 70s and 80s, which work very, very well, but they don't take on board the latest efficiencies that um, are available in the 21st century. On this machine here, we call it the semi power shift because it comprises a power shift unit, a mechanical gear unit, and then forward and reverse. So let me just explain how that works. The power shift unit at the front gives us um, six available power shifts in each gear. So we've got our A, B, C, D, E, F power shifts here, our one, two, three, four main gear changes here, and then forward and reverse in the middle. It's not based on the normal uh, method of using hydraulic clutch units and clutch packs. It's based on a, a mechanical uh, epicyclic unit and we just select the route through the epicyclic units to give us the six different speeds. So it's very very efficient, very very reliable uh, and it's a design that we've uh, we've used in our previous Dyna shift models uh, and now we use in Dyna 6. In the middle here we've got our forward and reverse clutches, uh, two clutches, one for forward, one for reverse. And that means essentially that when we're in forward, the reverse clutch is cooling and idle. And when we're in reverse, the forward clutch is cooling and idle. That means we can guarantee a long life, good reliability and a very efficient operation and use. And then in here, we've got our main range changes, uh, one, two, three and four. And that's essentially a straightforward mechanical gearbox. Um, we've just got four sets of gears in here. It's gear to gear, that means that we get the most efficient transmission of power, no or minimal losses in there. You can actually see that the gears are helical in design, that means we get a very good contact gear to gear. 
They're very, very wide in comparison to the designs that you might have known from the past. That means that they're very strong and very reliable. So the whole thing really is very efficiently designed. It's designed to make sure that the power coming in from the engine is transmitted very efficiently all the way through the drive line and still we can get 24 speeds coming out of the output shaft. It is the most modern, most efficient semi-power shift transmission of its kind available in any tractor on the market today. Massey Ferguson Dyna 6.